I hope you all are doing well today. In my last video I posted, I shared, I said that I would share our fall theme learning shelves next. However, um, one quick trip to Target Dollar Spot and Dollar Tree, and here we have Halloween. So we are going to be doing Halloween through all of October, and then next month for November, we'll get into all the fall things. So um, let's give you a quick little tour. So we're gonna start with Millie's shelf here. These are just free printables that I found on Pinterest. I will link those in my blog post within the description of this video. This is a 10 orange pumpkins little library book that I found. And then these, I know they're not pumpkins, but they're orange little bears, but there's 10 of them in here. So they can kind of go with the book. Then we have these, these are her favorite activities to do these little dot stickers to take them off, put them on and match the colors. Orange and green is kind of the theme here. So we have this, and these are just little popsicle sticks, green and orange ones. She can just work on fine motor skills, putting them in here. Then down here, this came with like a card game. It's just a matching game, So, but it's candy. So I thought it would be fun, kind of trick or treat candy related. We can uh, lay these all out and just play a little matching game. Then these are orange and green little stackers. And then this is a fun little activity. She can pick these up. She's still working on grasping these. We have smaller ones on a shelf over there, but um, we'll see how she does with these. On here we have pumpkins. So these can actually go with the book too, but they're just not all orange. So, um, but these I got in a pack, um, a five pack for 78 cents at Walmart yesterday. And then this is like a little rolly thing. So I was thinking that it they could try to like stack them somehow and then try to move them and see if they can how far they can go without them falling or something like that would be fun over here in our cozy corner we have just library books that are halloween themed that i found mm -hmm. for our shelves over here um we have the pumpkin life cycle so i see it shows how it goes here and then they can put it in order themselves here these are just those little sticker velcro things that you can just stick on them like that and then down here we have letter tile halloween words with scrabble tiles so they can pick them out and build the word and this is the life cycle of a pumpkin also these printables kind of all came together they're all free i will link them in my blog post but count and clip cards and then kind of similar to the count and clip cards but these are all halloween themed letter sounds so skeleton and cat these are all really fun and then down here we have the cylinder knobs so they pull out these are all in different sizes and depths so you kind of have to go through and match which one they fit in perfectly here and then up here we have zombie um, these are just random things slime I found this in a set at Target and thought these are cool because they could be like costumes or kind of Halloween related a little bit and then just use the sand to trace the letters I have Halloween scissor skills practice so scissors and then working on our scissor skills we have S's for spider little black rocks they can do like a little do a dot thing Millie likes this one also and then letters I found these um, three letter words um, Halloween related cards on Pinterest for free as well and then we just match them with our felt letters so Beckham can start creating words sounding out the words and putting them all together like that down here are some fun little Halloween things here so this is like a little jar of rubber bands and they can work on putting rubber bands around however they want but they do fit so well with these and then we also figured out that all of these that we have I don't know if it's like every pumpkin or what but they have 10 little spots here so we could do like fractions and all kinds of things with this so I'm excited to do more with that and then over here we have the pipe cleaners which I just cut into pieces orange ones and then added some orange and black beads 
um, that they can string on, make patterns, or whatever they'd like here. Okay, so then over here in our pretend play area, we have our little menu, our updated kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have, um, I had a tea light candle in here, but someone must have took that out um, that we can turn on at night that like flickers. That's really cute. Found these at the Dollar Tree in little pots here. And here in their little play pretend cash register, I put printed off little cards that they could make little fun potions in, like these little <laughs> apothecary style jars. They could use this for money, like how much they cost. Then they can use this loose parts along with the little, um, these little pauldron things. <laughs> and they can create their own little poison and then end up putting them inside here. It goes along with our sensory thing here. So I just did black rice and orange rice. Had these little pieces from a slime kit from a long time ago. These little bats and ghosts. So I put them in here, little spiders. These little glass jars are so cute for just filling up. You can use the little witch cauldron. Does however they want to play um, and mix and match with that over there. And then this is just orange Play-Doh. They can use this to make like little fossils, spider fossils. They can roll it out, whatever they'd like with that. And then this is just tape, um, electric tape. <laughs> so they can use these tongs up here to try to get the spiders out. That pretty much sums it all up. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will link everything in my blog post and leave that blog post link in the description for you to see. Um, it just kind of is an easier way for me to just put everything together in one spot. Um, I'll be back with more videos. The next one I'm thinking will be fall for sure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.